Hi, I'm Ken Klein. Most of you know me by now. I've been on the internet for I don't know how many years. So most likely you stumbled onto some of my films, some of my podcasts. And so I hope I don't need an introduction to you. But for those that are new, welcome to 3060 100 fold. What is 3060 100 fold? Well, it's a biblical term. And uh, for most, I think, I, I could be wrong, but uh, think of it as like hyperbole. Oh, 3060 100 fold, isn't that great? God's uh, wealth is so great. Uh, and they don't really understand that there's, there's really depth to the Word of God. It's not just what you read on the surface. People that just read on the surface or just maybe go to church are getting 30-fold at best in terms of the depth of the knowledge that comes from the Scriptures. 30, 60, 100-fold uh, is designed to stretch you beyond your vanishing points where you don't see clearly. Uh, and it's a great term because... It's, it's speaking about spiritual depth of field. In the world of photography and film, there's what is called the depth of field. Depth of field has to do with the object that you're filming and then what's behind that object and what's in front of that object. That constitutes the depth of field. That's kind of a very cursory explanation of depth of field. But 30, 60, 100 fold is dealing with the foreground, the object, and the background. Uh, in the book of Revelation, uh, John has been brought to the island of Patmos, and he's praying. He's praying, looking in one direction. And yet there's a voice behind him that says, uh, turn around. Uh, well, the voice says something behind him, and he turns around to see the voice. And, and uh, that's when the book of Revelation opened up to him, is when he turned around. And he was looking at things from God's perspective, which he couldn't have while he was faced in the other direction looking forward. He had to turn backwards. So depth of field is expanding, uh, in the spiritual sense of the word, our capacity to see uh, 360 degrees as opposed to just straight ahead. Uh, there's, there's great explanations in the Bible for the limitations that we have in terms of our spiritual depth of field. I want to share one with you that is pretty interesting. Uh, in the book of Revelation, there is several places where, for example, it says, uh, and I saw an open door in heaven. And, and yet, if you read it in the Greek language, that word heaven is preceded by the word the preposition that denotes some specific place, the heaven. Re rather, it should be rendered the heavens in many places in Revelation. It, it, the word uh, arenios is preceded by the word the, the heavens, plural. So if we go back into the epistles, we find that Paul states in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, we have a body reserved for us in the heavens. The heavens received Jesus when he ascended. So we have a, a misconception that becomes a 30-fold type of understanding of the scriptures when we don't press into it and see that there's more to this uh, understanding of our destiny than we ever imagined. So we want to stretch you beyond your vanishing points, which is basically for most people 30-fold, to give you a 60-fold and a 100-fold understanding of the depth of the knowledge of the scriptures. So now that you're part of this group, I'm glad you're here, and we hope to share with you some of the things in the future that impede our understanding of 30, 60, 100-fold. So stay tuned.